Empty now the stage of flesh and beauty, of blood and poetry. Silence now the rage. Though something traceless, indelible be left, beyond death's daunting discords and display and all the days of the day, perished all but the silver line surplus, sudden and of one mind, to play not one, but those of a boundless continuum of dateless days in poised momentum. At this Elysium or Pandaemonium, when all our costumes and characters cast as hidden treasure buried lie, true metal we meet, not recklessness, a theatre full-fledged, alike undisguised and freest of focus, ubiquitous. To think one would be in one place, in truth, at once in all, with jocund enterprise and the tameless discovery of magic of miracles and mystery, the undisturbed aim of the day's odyssey, the artist and protagonist, at ceaseless unfolding of plot and story, all but the becoming to assist. Outreaching as treetops a quiver, the day and the instant's perpetual prison, for play be our bliss, o'erwhelming, our love supreme, unending, and conjuring up spectacularly, from currents constant, deep at sway, a revenue extraordinary to set our passions ablaze, with confidence in chaos, as in our games confused we learn, naught be gained by endeavor timorous, no pioneer tracks to beaten roads turn. Though reason's first reach is creation's best, so much more revelry still awaits, the seeker coming to see undressed that truth which all things true creates. Here lies, in our world of woe and wonder, lost, though lush, in the splendor of day, the jeweled gift of theater is the freedom of fair play. There never was love that fiercer burned than lover such, metal mistermed. This root of life, that cherubim guard. Cold is the world, but not the heart.